Do you know whether you're gonna run out of money in retirement? If so, you're one of the 57% of Canadians that are now wondering whether they'll be able to achieve their retirement goals. Two thirds of Canadians today worry about running out of money and less than half of them feel that they're not saving enough. But you know what the issue is? It's not whether they're gonna run out of money, it's that 85% of Canadians do not have a formal financial plan. Okay, so it's very difficult for you to determine whether you're on track or whether you're not on track. The three methods that most Canadians are using today outside of a formal plan, number one, they're using the best guess method. So what they're doing is they're just hoping, it's a hope and a prayer that they're gonna have enough money uh, come retirement. The second one is less than a third of them are doing it on their own. Okay, so what they're doing is they're simply just saving money along the way. They're not factoring tax and inflation or actually putting in any goals. And they're just saying, hey, you know what? Here's how much money I have. And here's how much of a rate of return I'm gonna apply. And this is what I'm gonna hopefully spend in retirement. Less than 15% of actual Canadians are actually using an investment professional. So if I were you, what I would do is I would actually start asking some questions. So number one, how often or, or how do I wanna enjoy my downtime? You know, number two, how often do I wanna travel? How often do you wanna travel? Is it once a year, is it twice a year? How much do you wanna spend on travel? You know, number three, do you wanna upgrade your home? Or more important, do you wanna downgrade your home? If you're gonna downgrade your home, you're gonna have equity in your property that you can actually use to help sustain retirement. Number four, do you wanna gift assets to family members? Do you wanna do it today? Or do you wanna do it come estate time? You know, we're having a lot of um, conversations with uh, our families today where they wanna do some legacy planning and gift with warm hands as opposed to cold hands. And then number five, you know, have you given it any consideration about uninsured medical costs? It's one of the biggest expenses for Canadians, yet most people overlook it. So what I would do if I was in your case, the first step is to get a get an assessment of your current financial situation. Understand what you're doing today and then actually have a conversation about what you, want, what you want to do in the future. So what my recommendation would be is to have a conversation with an investment professional like myself or whomever, ask these questions and get a plan in place to make sure you're on track and that you're gonna have enough money.